I can't walk the same way now at the train station than before the, the crisis. I think I will never be able to walk without emotions. I see the people here and the struggle here. It's uh, for me, it's so horrible. So I have been here thousands of times last summer, uh, waiting for refugees to, to disembark uh, the train. I decided that uh, we, we need some cereal bars, uh, some sort of chocolates to, to give to refugees. First, because they love sweets, and second, uh, for them it's so shocking that a guy just pops into the coaches and says, hello, welcome to Hungary, welcome to Budapest, please have, follow me. Because who that guy is, what does he want? Uh, so it's strange. But uh, if you say, look, uh, I have a chocolate for everyone, hey, welcome. And uh, then I learned two words in Arabic and said, you know, something welcome. And then uh, they, uh, they were really, uh, they, it changed the mood. The first place we started was just here, just here. Here we had a table, uh, I was sitting here with my volunteers, and refugees started to arrive, but not, not in big numbers. During the hot days, uh, and uh, when children had really harsh problem with the skin because they could not have a shower for weeks or maybe months. Here is a, a fire tap and uh, the cleaning staff here decided that they will open the, the door, open the fire tap, make a pipe and let the kid uh, to have a, you know, a shower and play. It's very cold, but it's cold water and in the summer many kids were uh, uh, totally naked and just running here around screaming, playing with the, the, the water. It was amazing. Uh, normally this, this place were for playing, so kids could uh, dance here, playing football, sing together, whatever. But when uh, the night came or the sun went down, uh, we used that area to project uh, fairy tales and we had like in, a, in an opener cinema hundreds of kids sitting here and really just watching and, uh, and it was really, really cool. It was really cool. Each and every night we had this. Uh. I think it, what happened is nothing short of a revolution here. I mean, in Hungarian terms, to, to giving back to society, to offer donations, to volunteer, it's not something very common here. So what really happened that so many guys that you would not think about, like bus drivers, pensioners who, who have an income of, I don't know, 200 euros per, per month, offered to make sandwiches for these people each and every day. And it was uh, like people uh, with trolleys, elderly people in wheelchairs, uh, many people without shoes. Uh, they were not prepared for doing this. They did not bring water with them. This, it was even a, a hot, a more hot day than today. And uh, I don't know. So it was really a, a struggle. And uh, so we just decided to open our donations and, and uh, give these people and then I saw that there are we have hundreds of kilograms of fresh dates from the Middle East and uh, these people were shocked to, to see this and they were really happy about it. and uh, I, I really felt it's a sort of a biblical scene uh, uh, like people from the Middle East walking in the heart of Europe and uh, without anything uh, and uh, we try to op offer some dates and water for them and uh, uh, I can't describe my, my feelings there. 
By that time I talked uh, about these people as my people because they are coming from my train station. Of course it is not my train station and not my people, but I had a really close emotional contact with this. And I really felt uh, that I am responsible for these people even if I, of course, was not. Because, you know, I am Hungarian, I know the language, I know what to expect, these people didn't. So uh, I, I really wanted to, to ease their way.